tape is rolling. Today's date is the 8th of June, 1984. Today's location, or our location right now, is in the Middlebrook apartment complex located in Ocean, New Jersey. My mother-in-law lives in this apartment complex. The building you see in front of you right now is the one in which she has an apartment or rents an apartment. Okay, we're looking at that apartment right now. It's apartment number eight. And her address, oops, wrong one. No, that's the right one. 1509 Rustic Drive. And her apartment is apartment number eight, which is upstairs, upstairs apartment. This is a nicer looking apartment complex. We're gonna take a little look around, give you a little idea of what it looks like. Right now, it's pretty bright in some parts. The sky is a little bit on the gray side, but it's very hot and extremely humid. Right now, the temperature is about 94 degrees, and the humidity is at uh, approximately 99%, which tells you right there that the day is a steamer. But we're going to do the best we can with what we got regardless of how hot it is. That's not gonna stop your roving reporter from doing his job. Just taking this grassy area. Beautiful around here, isn't it? Right now it's pretty pretty quiet. It's Friday morning, and most of the people have already gone to work. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. 11 o'clock Friday morning. And as I said, most of your people have already gone to work. You're not gonna see too many people around. Children are already in school. So you're not going to see too many little ones. Right now, we're at the front of her building, which is 1509. Or we'll say Building 9. Building 19, I believe it is, but it's 1509. Rustic Drive. Rustic Drive is a street right out there. There we have it, Rustic Drive, where that gentleman is walking from right now. A street rustic drive. We're going to take a walk around the back of the apartment complex or on the back of this building into the parking lot. I think today they just got finished cutting the grass. Looks pretty nice. They have one of those riding lawnmowers. They have joggers out today. Yeah, they use one of those riding lawnmowers to cut the grass. Here we are now in the parking lot. The back door is the one we use most of the time. We don't normally use the front door for entry and exit to the apartment. Somebody having an outdoor picnic, whatever the case may be. There's the back door to our apartment. Barbara and I are staying with my mother-in-law. 
while we're here on vacation. I'm enjoying my leave. One thing's for certain, it's a lot warmer here than it is in Maine. I think at the moment we're, in, we're right in the midst of a pre-summer heat wave. And it's putting a hurting on everybody. Everybody's suffering from it. Little kids over there having fun. I like that little grassy area right back there. That looks nice. Walk around for a little bit. Back again. We are now out on Rustic Drive. Looking around. That's down the front. Not too many people out this morning. Beautiful around here, isn't it? Nice looking buildings. some kind of tennis court. No, not a tennis court. Somebody just playing some kind of uh, racquetball practicing. Yeah, it looks as though the grass cutters have a lot of work to do. Some of this grass is yet to be cut. So these boys got their hands full. But as I said before, they're riding around on those riding lawnmowers. Matter of fact, I think I see a couple of them right now. Uh, looks like a riding lawnmower now, if I'm not mistaken. Which I sold them at. Beautiful, beautiful project. I wish the sky were bluer. I think the pictures would come out a lot better. But we're doing the best we can with what we got. And I would say we're not doing so bad. Not too bad at all. Done. Okay, how's it going there? All right, can I ask you what you're filming? Tape is rolling again. Building 19, that's the building my mother-in-law lives in. Not a bad one.
Nice looking buildings. Nice. Fading in. All right, we're in the back of one of the buildings here in Middlebrook. Yes, and we're watching some little ones at work, or at play, anyhow. To them, it's at work. <laughs> All right, there's an action shot. We got a speed bike rolling down. There we go. All right, I like that. Mario Andretti. Uh oh, here it comes. A couple of guys getting watered down. Now he's gonna get his bicycle rusty. Well, he probably won't, but he'll take the oil off. Yeah, don't want to get the oil off. All right, let me get one more bicycle shot. Roll one down. All right. Good one, good one, good one. Not bad. Not bad. Are you going to do a bicycle shot too? Yeah. Okay. We'll hold it up. All right. Okay, one more. Go try to get one. <laughs> My name is Joseph Par I <laughs> Okay, the fans will want to know what your name is. What? The fans will want to know what your names are. <laughs> My name's Joseph Harrison. Okay, very good. And I'm Penny Pink. Okay, the good enough. Best. The world's the best. best, I thought so. All right, fellas, we're going to get rolling on now. You guys take care. We're going to fade out. Fade out. Fade Tape is rolling. Right now, we are in front of the Middlebrook Shopping Center in Ocean Township, New Jersey. We're looking at some of the stores in this little shopping plaza. Channel Lumber, that happens to be the biggest one. We also have a supermarket. What is that? Food Town, it looks like. We have Food Town super Supermarket. That's a pretty large facility. Yeah, we also have uh, Grant Furniture. There's a radio shack around here somewhere. I can't see it from here, but here it is right there, Radio Shack. There's some pretty good ones around. Arthur's, whatever that is. Oh, that's part of the Channel Lumbers. Ah, yes, the Middlebrook Theater. And today we have Fire Eater Play. Middlebrook Movies 2, 1 and 2. There's two theaters inside that building. Right, two cinemas inside that one building. To our left, we have the Stately Gardens Chinese Restaurant. Ristorante Chinese. Nice place. We've been in there one time. This is called Hawaiian something or other. The highway out there is Highway 35. This is a very famous highway in New Jersey. It runs into other states. I'm told that this highway can take you all the way down south to Florida. Now, how true that is, I don't know. But that's what I heard. Of course, I would never ride it down that far. I'd take the parkway, or not the parkway, but the turnpike. If I was going to take anything at all, I'd take some of the interstates. But supposedly, this highway does take you all the way uh, to points north, unknown. We have in upstate New York someplace. And down south, someplace, probably. What happened? 
see if we can move in closer on Highway 35. Okay. Tape is rolling again. Highway 35. Middlebrook Shopping Center. If we can see it from here. Oh, we got ourselves a Roy Rogers restaurant. All right, go ahead, Roy Rogers with your bag, so. direction and 35 south in that direction. He just missed the Eatontown Circle, which was in the northern direction. Must be an out-of-stater. Somebody who's not familiar with the area. But that's okay. No problem on that. closer to the shopping center, then we'll be heading back to the house. We'll be leaving the Middlebrook shopping center in a few minutes. We'll just take a few more shots around. Gas station across the street. And a Hubbard's cupboard. That used to be a Cumberland Farms. Or a 7-Eleven, I can't remember which. But they changed the names, but they're the same damn thing anyway. What's the difference? And one more close-up on that. Middlebrook Shopping Plaza. Corner Kitchen. Right. Okay, we're going to be fading out in just a minute. Food time. Fading out. 